Hello everyone, welcome to part 167 of multi vendor e commerce series in Laravel 9 and 10. And in this video, we are going to manage the inventories of the products. Okay, so we are going to work on the Laravel inventory management in which we are going to reduce the stock every time when order get placed. Okay, so that thing is mandatory for any kind of e commerce website. See, there is the limiter stock for every product. And we remember that uh, we have added the stock for all products in any panel. If you can see, you can just require to log in into the end panel. And we are going to check here that uh, we have added the stock of every product. So it is mandated to add the stock of every product because every product is having some limiter stock. Okay. So, like uh, you can see, uh, like this red casual t shirt. Uh, we are going to check its stock after clicking here uh, in attributes. See, every uh, every attribute is having the particular stock. Like the small size is having the 10 stock, medium is having the 2 stock, large is having the 1 stock. Okay, so every time when order get placed, the stock will get reduced like 10 to 9. Okay, if one order will get placed of this attribute, small attribute, then uh, we are going to reduce one. If multiple products, uh, uh, if multiple order, uh, like uh, if multiple quantity, like two quantity of order has been placed, then we are going to reduce it by two. Like this, we need to reduce the stock every time when order get placed. But right now, it's not reducing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to log in, and we'll show you. Like if the customer log in here, uh, I'm going to log in with one of the account here. Okay, and customer add one product here. Uh, let me add one product here t-shirt product uh, let me add here product with id 3 okay here is small uh, i am also going to open uh, with id 3 and we'll see small small is having the 100 stock right now okay so it must reduce if i will uh, purchase one one quantity of this product okay i will go to the card and going to proceed to checkout and finally we'll uh, we'll uh, see place the COD order okay so now I'm going to place the order okay it will take few seconds as it's sending the email as well then the stock must reduce to uh, 99 because one order has been placed for one particular stock okay but I will refresh here see there is no update at all it's still 100 but the vendor is having 100 stock only okay but one order has come for one of the product so now the pending stock is 99 it's not 100 okay so we need to reduce the stock every time an order get placed so it is the mandatory point it is the major point for every e-commerce website you need to reduce the stock every time an order get placed okay so uh, we are going to work on this thing and cod is directly we will reduce the a stock every time an order get placed so we are going to update the checkout function in products controller that we are going to do right now so we are going to update the checkout function when order get placed and here we are going to see in post method in checkout function uh, we are going to reduce the stock uh, every time when order get placed we are going to check in order products here like uh, uh, we are having uh, here every item order okay every item order here after the item order we are going to reduce it as well okay so here we are going to add our code uh, reduce reduce uh, stock script start okay or uh, reduce stock starts okay anything you can write okay so here we are going to add its code and uh, first of all we are going to get product stock here get product stock get attribute stock and uh, i'm going to check that we have its function here as well uh, we can check in product attribute here we are having the function already we are using this function here we need to send the product id as well as size to get the stock of that particular product okay so we are going to use this function here uh, product attribute and we are going to use this function and here we are going to send two things one is the product id product id as well as the uh, uh, that uh, size okay product id 
as well as the site see we require the product id as well as the site here i'm going to open the product attributes table so that it will be more clear to you see here we require the two things one is the product id and another one is the size to get the stock of that particular item okay so that we are going to reduce so okay so we will fetch it from product id as well as the size we are also having the size here so these two things we will pass to that function to get the prox stock and here we can see that we are directly getting the prox stock from this function we are searching in the product attribute by and selecting the stock only with the help of product id as well as size by comparing with product id as well as size okay so we are getting the product stock here so that stock uh, we are going to uh, reduce the demander stock from this original stock that is located in the database okay so we are going to calculate here the new stock okay new stock uh, that is left after deducting the demander stock okay so this stock is already located so this is the original stock minus the demanded stock that is the quantity that is demanded by the user that the user want we are going to reduce this and then the new stock will come okay like here we are getting the 100 from the table you can see we will get this one from this query we will get the 100 100 minus and what uh, what it is happening the demander stock is one okay user one uh, user want the one stock of that item okay so here the one will come here once again i am going to add that same product so that it will be more clear to you see here three we will just add the one stock one quantity okay user wants the one from the available see here user wants the one quantity from the avail available hundred stock okay so this is the hundred stock that we fetch from database minus one okay that is that the user want okay hundred minus one how much it is 99 so this 99 is the new stock that we are going to update in our uh, prox attribute table okay so once again we are going to update this one in the prox attribute i am going to compare it uh, with the uh, uh, with this one with the uh, size as with the product id as well as the size okay i am going to compare it with the product id as well as the size to update the new stock okay now i am going to update the new stock here stock is this dollar new stock okay so our query is ready this is our script here we will end this reduce stock script ends and now we are going to test it and we'll see whether this time it will work or not okay so i hope that the query is very much clear to you okay do repeat uh, uh, see rewatch the videos again and again so that if it is not clear it you it will get clear it happens with me also sometimes something is not clear to me uh, i uh, try again and again then it will get clear okay so now i am going to proceed to check out and here is some issue in our query we are going to resolve it here we can see it will not come okay now it is fine we are going to move further okay so i am going to order for the same product that is having the hunter stock at this time and now i am going to place the cash on delivery once again and i hope that it will reduce to 99 uh okay still there is some issue uh, we are going to see uh where product id it is saying okay so see here uh, we need to update this one as well uh this is the product id and this one is the size i copy from there so that's why the issue has come so copy uh, uh see copy also must be done uh, uh in a better way okay we need to update okay the copied uh things as well okay so don't make this silly mistake at your end now see now i have corrected the code now it must work fine and let's see continue and now i think it may work or may not work we may require to order once again let's see this time thanks message has come and we need to check and we will refresh this one and you can see the 99 stock has left okay one stock is one stock for the order has been placed so it reduced the stock from the 100 to 99 
now its stock is 99 earlier it it was not reducing but now it is reducing okay so now uh, we will try with the multiple product this time so we will order for the multiple products okay uh, so let me add one this one now it is having the 99 and now it was reduced to 98 i'm i will order for two quantity this time okay let uh, us order for the two quantity this time two and one more product i am going to add now and i am going to add uh, some other product as well and here product id 4 and small here as well and one quantity for this one so i will open the two here one is the three it must reduce two and one is the four okay so now see one is the same product and we i, I want the two quantity for this one so it must reduce to 97 and one product is for this one it, it its stock is 100 so its stock must be 99 okay so let's see i'm going to place for the order cod order once again and i hope that this time uh, it will work fine i will click on place order and it is sending email it will take few seconds and let's see So the thanks message has come order has been placed now we are going to check so it must reduce to 97 i'm going to refresh here let's refresh and see it's 97 it's perfect it's fine okay i and it must reduce to 99 so it is fine as well so uh, stock are reducing of the multiple items as well okay so uh, we able to reduce the stock at the time of COD order placement. Now the same thing we need to do at the time of PayPal as well. Okay, we have integrated the PayPal. We have seen, and uh, I'm going to open the uh, PayPal controller here. Okay, where we are required to reduce the stock as well at the time of success function. Okay, we have the success function here. Every time when order get placed successfully, we need to reduce the stock here as well. So see here after sending the sms email whatever okay we are going to do this talk here we are going to add this reduce talk strict script that we have made here i'm going to copy this script here and we'll paste it here and we'll make changes okay i have copied this one reduce talk script starts okay so uh here uh we will check and update the code okay so we have copied but we need to embed this in the for each loop uh, because we want to reduce the stock of multiple items here is the order details array and uh, so we will add here uh, that uh, for each loop here okay so i'm going to uh, add that for each like this and i'm going to bring this inside the for each loop here like this okay and I'm going to make changes now. Okay, so this is the order details. I'm going to copy this one. And I want to go through its products, order products. Then it will come up like this. Okay, as dollar order. Okay, so now get uh, product stock. And here instead of item, order will come. Okay, order and here also order and a new stock and here also order and uh, item in case of item order and also uh, we are going to check the order products uh, its column must also update uh, here we are going to check we we can only check with the order see this time the order has been already placed and we are going to reduce after placing the order okay so we will uh, get the details from the order products table and here see first one is the product id product id is fine uh, okay its uh, column is matching and after that product size it is product underscore size so we will make it product underscore size here also as well as uh, uh, here uh, anywhere else here also okay both places and after that uh, here quantity quantity also we will update to product underscore quantity okay product underscore q t y okay okay so this is the reduced stock script for paypal uh, that you need to add uh, in your paypal controller in the success function uh, so that uh, it will surely work fine you can test at your end and let me know if you will face any issue 
So that's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.